This third view of division is called the missing factor view of division, and really it's more general than the equal sharing or the measurement views of division. I'm not going to write word problems because I think that really you can take anything and see how it fits into a missing factor view. And really once students understand equal sharing and measurement, uh, the missing factor can kind of replace those two views of division once they're understood. Uh, with a missing factor view, if you have something like a divided by b equals n, um, let me not call it n, if you have a divided by b equals something, then we could rearrange this division statement to become a multiplication statement. Notice the word factor is one of those multiplication vocabulary words. So b times that missing number, that answer, is a. So what the missing factor view of division says is we can, we can rewrite a division statement as a multiplication statement. And specifically, whatever is in the box on the multiplication statement, whatever is here, um, goes up here as the quotient. So why it's called missing factor is because here I've got a multiplication statement and I don't know what one of the factors is. Let me show you this uh, kind of in practice. So if we have 12 divided by 4 equals something, um, I could think, well, 4 times something gives me 12 and try to think of what is that something. Well, I know my multiplication facts and so I know 4 times 3 is 12. That means 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this showcases the connection between multiplication and division. Uh, even so, you could have uh, a thing called a fact family, uh, like 7 times 8 is 56, and a fact family has four things in it. Uh, with multiplication, two of the things are multiplication, and two of the things are division. And 56 divided by 7, and 56 divided by 8. So the missing factor view says if I know 7 times 8 is 56, then 56 divided by 7 is 8, and 56 divided by 8 is 7. Even more interestingly, I don't know, maybe I'm the only person who likes this, um, but we could take something and look at these in different bases. So, oh, I heard you groan through the internet. Okay, so if we have 3 in base 5 times 4 in base 5, so 3 in, in base 5 and 4 in base 5 are really just 3 and 4, uh, like in base 10. I know 3 times 4 is 12, and so if I draw out 12 dots, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, if I'm thinking about base 5, then 5 of those trade out for a long, and another 5 trade out for another long. So I've got two longs and two ones. So that's 2, 2, base 5. Now I can do a division problem. Um, 2, 2, base 5 divided by 3, base 5 equals something. And the missing factor approach says I can rearrange this division question, division statement, to be a multiplication statement. So 3 base 5 times something is equal to 2, 2 base 5. And I notice, oh, 3 base 5 times 4 base 5. So this 4 is the missing factor, which means that 4 is also the quotient of the division statement.